Hello guys and welcome back to my Joomla 3 tutorial. Today I will show you how to install a backup solution on your homepage. For this we have to download the software Akiba Backup in the latest version 3.8.2. Here is the download link. I have already downloaded it before. The link I post in the video description. Also if you need a language file you can download the language file from this side, choose the language, download the file to your PC. So I close this browser windows. Next step is go to your backend, open the extensions and the extension manager. Search for the Akiba backup component file. Here come Akiba core.zip, say open and press the upload and install button. I have already uploaded and installed. Here you can see. And after that if you need a language file also open and search the package file from the language file and open it and press also upload and install. After that Akiba backup starts regular the configuration wizard. This looks like this. The wizard looks to your server and configurate Akiba backup for your server. This takes a few seconds. So the configuration uh, wizard is finished. Now you can choose if you like to create your first backup here or change the configuration with this button. I press now the backup button. I start my first backup. Okay, it's not the first backup on, on this server. So here you can change your backup profile. I just work with only one backup profile. I always back up the whole site, the site, the web space and also the whole database. So here you can insert the short description and here I always insert which components I have installed on this backup. After that you can press here the backup button. This takes a few minutes on my side, on your side it, I think it will not take much more time than three or four minutes. So I make now a break in the video and if the backup is finished I will be back. So the backup is now finished. We get the message backup completed successfully. We can view the log file with this button but that is not necessary. We got no error and with this button we can manage our backups. I press this button and here we can see all the backups we created. So this backup is from now. Here is the date, the time, the status where we created this backup. In this case from the backend. It's a full site backup with the database included and there is one part. The backup file size is at the moment 20 megabyte and here you can download this backup file. But this options does not work very well because sometimes you download the backup file and then this backup file is destroyed. The better way is to download the backup file with an FTP client like FileZilla. I will show you this. Here we got FileZilla. I connect to my server and now I need the directory from my backups. For this I have to go back to the control panel and then I have to click to configuration. And here we will find the basic configuration and in the first line we will find the output directory. And every time you go with your mouse over one configuration line you get a tooltip. It's very easy to configure a Kiba backup. So here in the configuration, in the basic configuration we get the output directory. Control C for copy. I open FileZilla browser. Control V for paste and I delete this part of the path I don't need. This is the right path. Administrator components com akiba slash backup. Press the enter button and here is our last backup from today and now we can save this backup to our PC with drag and drop. I pull it to my desktop and here it is. When it is finished I can put this file to a CD or backup drive. So the next thing I will show you in the configuration. 
Sometimes you get an error in the backup. Nearly on the end, you get an error message that something went wrong. Most of the time, you have to, ch to change the backup file size. I show you where you can do this. You scroll down here to this line and press configurate and here part file size for split archives. On this free web space, there is no limitation of the file size. On my other web space, I have a limitation of 30 megabytes, so I put here 25 megabytes in and then after 25 megabyte, Akiba Backup split the backup files. So that's, that's it from the configuration. If you need any information, just went with the mouse over the line, you get a tooltip. And I think it's really easy to configure this backup solution. So at the last, I will show you the dashboard from Akiba Backup and the options. Here is the configuration wizard. Here you can manage your profiles. I use just one profile. This profile where I back up my whole web page. Where is the web space and the database inside. Here you can open the configuration. Here you can start the backup. Here you can manage your backups. And if you get any errors, you can see here the log file. Here are some scheduling information for cron jobs and front end backup features. I never used this before. The next button are the component parameters from to configure a Kiba backup in Joomla and the writes like this. The live update is not supported for the free version of Akiba Backup. And the last two buttons on this dashboard to exclude files and directories from the, from the backup. And also exclude tables from the database backup is this button. Sometimes you get problems. I show if this is finished. Yes. Sometimes you get problem with this folder logs. I don't know why, but this folder is not important. You can try if you have some errors to exclude this folder from the backup. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it or it was helpful for you, please give me a like and I hope we will see us soon again. Have a great time. Bye.